our agriculture just to again numbers is what you know uh, uh, is what makes the story credible back in 2014 the paddy production and procurement from telangana was 68 lakh metric tons as of last year's summer the paddy production and procurement from telangana is three and a half crore tons agriculture has expanded by more than 119 percent industry has grown rapidly most of you are very familiar with tsi pass in fact all the women entrepreneurs here especially fiki flow when they had approached us and when they had asked us could we create something together telangana government and fiki flow could we do something unique for women entrepreneurs we readily accepted myself jayesh narsimha reddy all of us we jumped at the offer and we said we will do everything we can to support and as shubra pointed out we not only have given out the land at a very discounted price of course we also have ensured that all the women entrepreneurs have received all the support that they have required to set up their units but it's just the beginning in fact i know the ambition is larger the appetite is larger i've been asked many a times that we need to do more and you need more space in fact your president shubra just told me that she herself does not have a unit there and therefore she needs more space but i do have a request for the women entrepreneurs here let's start thinking beyond hyderabad let's start thinking outside of hyderabad i know you all live in hyderabad we all love hyderabad we're all proud hyderabadis and i keep saying wherever i go in fact my favorite pitch uh, whenever i meet a new investor is hyderabad is neither south india nor north india it is where the north of india meets the south of india it is where biryani meets paratha it is where you can say even paratha meets dosa it is where the mango verse meets metaverse it is where delta data sciences meets life sciences it is the point of confluence of so many things that are brilliant we have done exceedingly well as a city in fact mercer an international agency that rates all the cities on livability index has consistently rated hyderabad over the last five years as the best city among indian cities on livability index for five years in a row from 2015 until 2020 and since 2020 of course they've stopped giving out rankings post covid the point i'm trying to make is while hyderabad is beautiful while hyderabad is in fact in fact oxford economics in the uh, report they've released day before yesterday have mentioned that hyderabad and bangalore are the two cities which are going to pip tokyo shanghai shenzhen and all other asian cities and will be the market leaders in the entire continent of asia so that is the capability of hyderabad today but having said all the nice things about hyderabad i think we don't want to end up the bangalore way we don't want to see our infrastructure crumbling in the last eight and a half years you all know the kind of work that has been done with respect to infrastructure addition and improvements we have constructed number of flyovers a lot of underpasses a lot of other infrastructure projects a lot of link roads and a lot of road maintenance that has happened but i still see the number of cars and traffic growing more and more especially after covid therefore i urge all of you let's start thinking beyond hyderabad because as a state if you look at us hyderabad is so central any nook and corner of telangana is hardly two and a half to three hours away so when you are planning your next industrial unit because of the rural livelihood mission of telangana government five revolutions are going to unfold right in front of you we are trying to usher in five revolutions one the green revolution that i just mentioned our irrigation chief special chief secretary is here we have constructed the world's largest lift irrigation project you know we take a lot of pride in quoting what others have done across the world we talk about three gorges and other things but did you know that the world's largest lift irrigation project is actually in our state telangana and it has been completed in a record time of only four years 48 months flat it is an engineering marvel for those of you who have not seen it i request shubra sonali and others to actually lead a team of flow delegates to go visit this beautiful project where we literally lift a river from 60 meters above sea level all the way to 618 meters above sea level through a multi-stage lift irrigation system it is an engineering marvel that is worth a visit that is worth spreading the word more importantly it not only provides irrigation potential to more than 4.5 million acres 45 lakh acres it also provides drinking water to the city of hyderabad in fact hyderabad's drinking water requirements till the year of 2051 are fully met with by our government in the last four years 
The point I'm trying to make is with this kind of additional potential that has been created, with this kind of agriculture produce that is coming our way, food processing is a sector that is really going to take off in a big way in Telangana. We have earmarked 10,000 acres of land under the special food processing zone policy of government of Telangana. And I'm sure you all know that one third of these plots will be earmarked for women entrepreneurs. So you're more than happy to reach out to Jayesh Ranjan and my TSIC team. I urge you all to actually start setting up your units in these special food processing zones. The second revolution that is going to unfold right in front of your eyes is a blue revolution. Today I'm proud, I stand here proudly and claim the government of India has recognized us as the state which is number one today on inland fisheries. Today, our state has more than 46,000 lakes and tanks which have been rejuvenated, new reservoirs that have been created, offering you immense potential to start exporting aqua, you know, food to other parts of the world. In fact, some large multinational companies are already setting up their factories and their processing units here, and they will be 100% export oriented. Tilapia fish, which is predominantly consumed in the continent of United States, in fact, will be shipped out of mid Maner in my district, Sirsila. And there is a large company called Fission, which is investing nearly 1,000 crores in this one unit alone. So the potential to invest in aquaculture, the potential